Okay, Spatula Games here, doing something a little different. That actually looks a lot bigger, but it is a two pound chuck roast. Uh, at work we've been challenged with a chili cook-off, so I'm gonna smoke this sucker and try to get that smoked flavor into the chili. So we're just getting started with this guy, this uh, two pound chuck roast. Okay, so I had to have some more coffee, so that's going on over here. Um, so we went on with the W sauce, that is the Worcestershire, and uh, a Texas brisket rub that's primarily salt and pepper, and this is how we are going on the smoker. Okay, so this is the Pits and Spits wood pellet smoker. And I wanna be perfectly clear, I have never done a chuck roast before. And this is not gonna be barbecue. This is just to get the smoke flavor into the meat for the chili. This is the first time I've done it, so there may be adjustments made. And we're gonna do the chuck roast at 250. Uh, and when this gets up, <clears throat> up the temperature then we'll get the chuck roast on there and we'll go from there okay so here's our pits and spits wood pellet smoker we've been up to temperature for a while now uh, 250 that's where we're gonna go and please let me reiterate this is a trial run I haven't done it before and we are going to see what happens because the idea is to get as much flavor into this chuck roast to go into the chili. I may need to make adjustments. Uh, chili cook-off is a month out, so I'll let you know at the end of this if it worked. Okay, so our chuck roast is on the smoker now. We are at 250. And uh, again, it's a two-pounder see how much flavor we can get in there okay so it is 30 minutes half an hour in at 250 and this is our ground chuck not ground <laughs> chuck roast okay so we're at 150 internal right now and I'm trying to decide if I want to wrap or foil this and I don't know honestly um, I'm not really looking for a certain texture or tenderness. I'm just looking to get flavor for the chili. So I don't know what I want to do. But we're at 150 internal, and that's where we are. Okay, so I foiled at 150 internal. It's actually a pan and foil, and uh, we are at currently 165 internal. And we'll keep going. Okay guys, so this is what our uh, chuck roast is looking like right now. You can see it's got a light smoke ring on it. I kind of expected more, uh, but there it is. And I think the flavor's in there <clears throat> and I'm gonna get started on my chili here pretty soon. I'm gonna get this sucker chopped up, diced up as fine as I can get it really, but it's all about getting the flavor in the chili. So there it is. Okay, onions are in and uh, ground chuck will be in soon. Okay, so the meat is drained. Uh, the ground chuck bits are in there. Wait, what am I saying? The ground chuck is in there. Uh, the chuck roast off the smoker is in there also. And we are going to simmer for quite a while, I would think. And we'll see where we're at in a little bit. Okay, so there it is. There is the chili next to what's left of the chuck roast, smoked. Um, I did add a little bit of masa flour at the end. That might have been a mistake. Um, <clears throat> it did make the flavor a little more mild. Uh, so yeah, there's ground chuck in there. There is smoked chuck roast in there. And there is the chili. It's pretty good.